that. Let's continue to step back. No, whoa, 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 whoa. You said leave the case alone? Listen, it's deeper than what we think. Leave, no, yes or no, leave the case alone. Leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to take your advice. Leave it alone for your safety. Wow. Leave it alone. Okay. Okay. Um, you, you, I ain't gonna lie. You fucking scaring me. I ain't scared of shit, but you, you scaring me. Zach is deeper than what we think it is. And they want us to step back. That's why the police, the FBI, none of them have stepped in. Because they're connected. Mm. And when you have money, you can do anything you want to do. Wow. Once they get a phone number, they can tap you into whatever, whatever you're doing, whatever you're saying. Mm. It's, 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 we're on this computer thing. They are hooked in to you. They know exactly what you're doing, where you at, where you going. Okay. Just step back, Zach. Okay, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. Enough said. I'm done with the, with, with the case. I'm, I'm done with the case. You don't got have to worry about me posting shit on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat about the Kanika Jenkins case. Um, nothing. I wanted to post to. It's crazy because Sunday I wanted to put some. I won't, I wasn't even gonna talk about it. I was just gonna post it from this lady page I'm on on Facebook. I was gonna post um me and Irene, but do not do that. Don't even do that. Watching you, please be careful. They don't gotta watch me. I'm done with that shit. I'm chilling. It ain't, it ain't worth it, bro. Right. I didn't know this. You see what I'm saying, bro? I'm telling you that. Fall back, bro. It, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't worth it, bro. The be falling back. The fucking with these high powerful people, unless you got God on your side. So, so tell me this. Tell me this. So, so. See, he should have be quiet and listen to that dude. He said, "Don't do it unless you got God on your side." People don't be wanting to hear about God. They don't take that too serious. Yo, you know I got, everybody know, I got the Irene interview and I got three more powerful interviews. I really, really, really want to drop them and leave this shit alone. But my life been threatened numerous times. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't drop this shit. If you drop it, you put in a hotel in danger. All type of other shit. I don't even talk about it. I just stay with the rappers now. But should I just drop it and say, fuck what everybody got to say? Man, I'm going to leave it up to you, man. What you need to do, don't ask me, man. You need to go into prayer, man. You need to ask the universal most high God what you should do. Because when you play with this type of stuff. He rolled his eyes. When he said that, he rolled his eyes. His eyes are still closed on the screen. This dude looked away and rolled his eyes. And now he's now he's dead. This brother that he's talking to knows what he's talking about. If you ain't ready for spiritual warfare, don't even don't even go in this direction. Because Rolling his eyes. Every, all wars ain't physical. All wars ain't physical, man. Everybody want to talk about what happened, but nobody talks about God, the real God. Nobody talks about him, man. And you have to put that in the equation. Ain't no bitch ass nigga, ain't no gangsta ass nigga. I done grew up on the streets, I done done all that shit, bro. But it came to a point in my life I had to face up and say, yo, you know what? God real and his word is real. And that's when we leave God out the equation, that's when we fall short. For real, bro. This shit right here is deep, bro. These people been running the world, man, before we even came here, man. They in every city and they in every fucking town. I don't care where you go. They connected all fucking over. And the reason why you got kicked off of Facebook, bro, because you you help you can help put the pieces together. See, the organ harvester people, they make their money. So by you putting out what's going on with the organ harvesting people, you interfere with their business. You interfere with their money. Because they don't want everybody to know what's going on. Because if you put the truth out what's going on, how they gonna make some money? Right. They ain't gonna make no money. So you stopping their money, bro. But what's going on? They got let me ask you this. So every time I go live, no matter who page I'm on, I can never see the comments or how many people view on the live. I don't even know if people is watching me right now. I just took a chance and did it. You think they don't want my message out here to the world? Bro, they don't want your message out to the world. They don't want nobody's message out to the world. Anybody that's against them, bro, they 
gonna get you. They gonna, they gonna try to shut you down. We we ain't with these people. So they're gonna use all their power, man, to shut us down in it any kind of way possible. That's the reason why if you look up social media and you go do the research who owned it, who owned it and look at these people, man, most of the people in the world, man, and ain't no racist ass nigga. I'm not racist. But I'm gonna tell the truth because the truth gotta be the cops that pulled me over, it was, a, it, 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 was, it was two black SUVs and it was a chef or whatever. Um, I made a, a left and I made a right in a parking lot by a bank. And they didn't even put their fucking, um, their, 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 their lights or sirens on. They was just right behind me. But when I made a right, they put the, the not the sheriff, but the, the second black SUV put his lights on. I pulled over. He was saying, sir, how are you? And it was random as shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't have my seatbelt on. But um, as y'all can see from the video, I'm like, oh, I'm blessed. How you? You know? Oh no, I was just checking on you. How, how you been? We 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 just want to, you know, what I'm saying, welcome you to the community. The com welcome you to the community. Talking about that gang stalking community bullshit, bro. Community, nigga. I've been living out here for like I'm in the burbs. I'm looking like what? What did you? It was just it was like super random. Like they didn't ask for my license. They didn't ask for my registration. They didn't ask for my insurance. They didn't ask for none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? I guess they was just trying to identify me or just be like, yo, this is him or this. I don't know. It's just stupid random after I get through talking to um Tanya or whatever her name is, that they do some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. A popular YouTube personality is gunned down while driving through Chicago's Printer's Row neighborhood. He's identified as Zach Stoner, known on YouTube as Zach TV One. Around one in the morning, police say a gunman in another car pulled up alongside Stoner's vehicle near Clark and Polk Streets. Multiple shots were fired. Stone was hit at least once in the head, then lost control of his vehicle, crashing into a light pole. A witness, several stories up, posted this Twitter video moments after the crash. It appears to show a group of people at the scene getting into another vehicle, then driving off before police arrive. Man, that, bro, it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't worth it, bro, to be fucking with these high-powerful people unless you got God on your side. So, so Running the world, man, before we even came here, man. They in every city and they in every 